Some of Haruki Murakami's novels have titles derived from the names of Beatles songs. These include Norwegian Wood, Drive My Car, and Yesterday. There is also a short story titled With the Beatles. Occasionally, Beatles songs appear in the novel. The most common appearance is in Norwegian Wood. Let's take a look at the description of the story. At the beginning of the story, the scene is that of a Boeing plane arriving at Hamburg Airport. Once the plane was on the ground, soft music began to flow from the ceiling speakers, a sweet orchestral cover version of the Beatles' Norwegian Wood. The melody never failed to send a shudder through me, but this time it hit me harder than ever. Next is the scene where the main character spends Naoko's birthday at her apartment. After the last record I went back to the first. She had only six altogether. The cycle started with Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and ended with Bill Evans's Waltz for Debbie. In the scene where Reiko plays the guitar, Michelle, Nowhere Man, and Julia are mentioned. Despite her protest, Reiko played a fine Michelle. The she played Nowhere Man and Julia. Reiko gave her fingers a good flexing and then played Norwegian Wood. Finally, in the scene where Reiko visits the main character's room, we find yesterday, something, the fool, on the hill, Penny Lane, Blackbird, when I'm 64, and I love her, hey Jude, and Eleanor Rigby. Reiko moved on to the Beatles, playing Norwegian Wood, yesterday, Michelle, on something. She sang and played Here Comes the Sun, then played The Fool, on the Hill. She played Penny Lane, Blackbird, Julia, When I'm 64, Nowhere Man, and I Love Her, and Hey Jude. For our 49th song, Reiko played Eleanor Rigby, and the 50th was another performance of Norwegian Wood, Because of this, when Norwegian Wood was released, Haruki Murakami was thought to be an avid fan of the Beatles. However, he himself said the following. To tell you the truth, when I was a teenager, I didn't really listen to the Beatles that enthusiastically, as a contemporary. Of course I listened to them all the time, because they were always on the radio, but I never bought any records. I guess I thought, it's just a fad anyway. It was something for girls to listen to. I was cocky. I remember hearing yesterday on the radio every day and thinking, oh no, not yesterday again, that's disgusting. If you listen to it every day, you'll get sick of it. However, Haruki Murakami has written about the impact of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in various places. I remember well when I was in high school and I first heard the newly released album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I wasn't a big Beatles fan, but it was still good. The way the songs were strung together and the idea of what we would now call a concept album really blew me away, and I still remember each and every song vividly. Now that I'm older, I've listened to the album again, and I've come to realize that Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band are truly wonderful. It must be that there was a difference in time or age between the giver and the receiver. It seems that Haruki Murakami is gradually listening to the Beatles more and more. It wasn't until I was almost 40 that I started to listen to the Beatles' music in a proper way. When I was living in Greece, I listened to them on a cassette tape and I felt something deep in my heart at that time. Then I wrote a novel called Norwegian Wood. As for his favorite Beatles song, he said, in terms of records, I am fascinated by the A-B-side couplings of Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields Forever. I was hooked from the first time I heard them. As for the song, I'd say The Fool on the Hill.
Incidentally, in the short story Yesterday, there is a scene where the main character changes the lyrics of Yesterday's and sings it, but it seems that there was a complaint about it. I received a suggestive request from the copyright agent regarding the revision of the lyrics. The lyrics were not a translation, but my own creation, which is completely unrelated to the song, so of course I have my own arguments, but it was not our intention to cause trouble with the Beatles side, so I cut down the lyrics drastically, and tried as much as possible to avoid any problems. How did you like it? The Fool on the Hill is another great song, isn't it?